sisters is our fifth Sunday. Yes. Amen. Amen. Also, on this coming Tuesday, there will be Bible class in person Amen. and Facebook Live. Amen. On this coming Wednesday, that will be at 6 a.m. This day at our prayer conference call, 12 noon, noonday prayer conference call, at 7 p.m. prayer service in person and on Zoom. Amen. Also, we will now lift our offering. There are three ways, four ways of giving. Give the five, solid right now, the solid faith church. Also, you can now give on Tide, T I G A D dot L Y. The link has been emailed, sent in the text to you. If you desire to give by mail, Solid Rock at the Solid Bay Church, P.O. Box 358, Roundertown, Maryland 21133. You may also give in person if you had cash or check. I'm going to ask Sister Nakia Harvey that she would come and hold the basket for us. Service now back on hand of our praise and worship team. And following them, Next what you will be hearing is that of our pastor. Let's receive the wrong with a hearty amen. Amen. amen.
chapter. Amen. And after that, we're going to Romans 11, chapter. Matthew 16, chapter. We're going to read verses 13 to 18. nor 
the book of Isaiah, the 54th chapter, and reading just a portion of verse 17, just the top portion. The Bible declares, no weapon that is formed against thee shall no weapon that is formed against thee shall prosper. Look at somebody that's standing, sitting beside you or behind you and tell them you can make it. Ah, uh, come on and tell them like you're trying to encourage them. You can make it. Ah, uh, come on, come on. Look at somebody behind you and tell them you can make it. Ah, uh, you can make it. You can, you can. You can.
people. And then Jesus said, upon that rock he was going to build his church. And the gates of hell was not going to be able, amen, to prevail against the church. Amen. But you got to believe the word. My God, my God. I heard the Bible say, without faith it is impossible to please him. So you got to take that word of God in. When God tells you something, you got to grab a hold of it.
huh? Because there's so many people, huh? They just preaching, huh? The cake. And they're preaching the pie, huh? And they're preaching, huh? The ice cream, huh? And they're preaching the dessert, huh? But I thank God, huh? For the meat, huh? That's what they gave me, huh? They gave me meat, huh? Because you can't, huh? Survive, huh? Off of ice cream, huh? You don't get sick, huh? Keep eating all that, huh? And don't have, huh? A good substance, huh? In your body, huh? And God is looking for some people that's willing to stand up and be bold and be accountable. 
and stop being selfish because you're so worried about what you're going to have to go through. You ain't going to go through more than what Jesus went through. Hallelujah. I don't want to go through nothing, so I don't want to do you. So just let everybody go to hell because you don't want to go through nothing. Because you don't want no persecution. You don't want nobody to talk about you. You don't want to be scandalized. You, you, you want to fit in. So the young people that's in your school or the young people that's on your job, they're they, they, they going to miss it. When the light is right there, but you won't let the light shine. Because you want to act like them because you don't want them to see it different. Let me tell you, when somebody go to hell, they go to hell. It's over. Now, was it that important that you fit in? That somebody gets the burn? Much more. 
showing you it's coming from the left, it's coming from the right, it's coming from the back, it's coming from the front, it's coming from all places. And sometimes you just gotta say, you just stand still and see the salvation of the Lord. Because uh, God is just showing you to another place in him.
and I don't feel that. And I get down in the valley. I gotta know that he's there. I gotta, I gotta know that he's a keeper. I gotta know that he's my strength. I gotta know that he's the lily in the valley. I gotta know that he's the bright and morning star. I gotta know that he's my bread when I'm hungry. I gotta know that he's gonna be my shelter in the storm. I gotta know that he'll be my light in darkness. I It's on God. It's on God. And it's on God's word. Yes. Not 
nothing should be able to separate us from the love of God, which is in Christ Jesus. You can make it. But when we get over into the book of Isaiah, Isaiah said, no weapon. But before I talk about the weapons, God said, listen, he said, I'm the one that made the people that make the stuff. Right. So, but anything that they come up with and that they make, I just want you to know that it is not going to prosper against you. And y'all know that God made the devil, right? Yeah. Yes. Okay. So, God made the devil, and God wants us to understand as the body of Christ that no weapon, nothing that the devil comes up with, whether it's something that works with your mind, something that works with your emotions, Something that works on your body. Come on. It doesn't matter what the devil comes up with. He comes up with different types of things. To attack us. As the people of God. But all of those things. Are to take us to a different place with the Lord. That's what it should, that's what it should do. That's what it's designed to do. Because God knows the exact thing that you need. And the exact thing that I do. Yes. So ain't no need me looking over there at you. <laughs> Saying, well, you ain't going through what I'm going through. Yeah. <laughs> because God is just blessing you right now. I mean, you, you can bless. You get houses, you get land. Oh my God, you just overflow with blessings. He's just blessing you back right. Oh my God. Just not 
opportunity for the time. And you will watch God change people's lives. And you'll be able to look at them and be like, oh my God, they definitely don't even look like the same person. They don't act like the same person. They don't walk like the same person. They don't talk like the same person. They don't think like the same person. They don't know. They, their mannerisms have changed. Their ways have changed. They have changed the individual. You gotta give God time to work. You gotta give God time to work. You can make it. You can make it. You might feel like giving up today. You might feel like throwing in the towel today. You might just feel like saying, forget it today. Now, I'm gonna advise you this. Go back and look at the news. If ever you was gonna walk away from Jesus, it's not heaven. I'm just trying to tell you. This ain't the time to walk away from God. Because I already know you're going to be destroyed. This ain't the time to walk away from God. The devil is beefing up his antics. And the things are coming into place. Even as we continue to preach and continue to teach the word of God. More and more is being set up for the Antichrist. More and more is being set up for the tribulation. We got to pay attention to the sign of the time. Because it's happening. It's happening and you should be able to feel it. Feel it and see it. Y'all feel the change? Y'all feel that shift in here? Y'all feel that shift in here? It's about to go down for real. It's about to go down for real. Uh huh. And the UN, they done met again. All that, they're getting ready. They're getting ready. They're getting ready. It's getting set up. The thing is getting set and lined up. Because this book is going to happen. Oh, yes. There is going to be one person ruling over everybody. And there is. Hallelujah. It's going to happen. And I'm talking about this for Jesus. Uh huh. And after a while, you can get it. Once they really give you the digital, digital, really do it. Once they got your money, you can just get it. They got you. They control you. Yeah. Anytime I can empty out your bank account yeah. without your permission, That's right. I got you. Right. Uh, I got you. You don't have to control over nothing. Uh, mm -mm. This ain't no time to play. This is time to get right. This time to realize I can make it. Say, you ain't going to pull me off the foundation. It's too late to come off the foundation. You gotta be declaring, and if you can't declare, you need to be asking God, put it in me that for Christ I live and for Christ I be willing to die. Because I don't know what it's all gonna come down to. But if I had to lose my natural life, I want my spiritual life to be saved. Amen. See, we gotta get to a place where we can be like those apostles. I count not my own life dear to me, is what Paul said. He said, look, y'all breaking my heart. They was crying that they go on, don't go. Because they won't kill you. I was like, I don't know. I ain't worried about that. I'm not worried about that. Paul said he had kept the faith. He had finished his course. There was there for him a crown of righteousness which the Lord of the righteous judge was going to give him at that point. He was ready to go. You got to be ready to go. You gotta, we got we to gotta stay ready to go. I'm sorry. You got to stay ready to go. <sighs> Some people tell me, oh, I'm going to live a long time. I don't, I don't, and I'll tell you again, I don't have to live a long time. I just need to live long enough to do everything God wants me to do. Amen. Amen. That's, it. That's it. I'm just being real. And then I go. Sorrow. You ain't dealing no more heartache. You ain't dealing.
And again, we don't like to see one another leave. We don't, we don't, we don't want that. We don't want that. But the truth be told, there's times, most people, not everybody, but there's been times in your life where you wish you could have gone on and just went on and be with Jesus. Yeah. I've been there. Because you was going through some stuff. Yeah. You know it's true. I know it's right. Oh, I know. I know. I know. But it ain't time for that. It ain't time for that. It ain't time. You got too much for that. You understand? Know you got too much. You do. It ain't time for that. Definitely not. You got too much. You got too much. You got to finish it. You got to finish it. You don't want to go before you finish it. Right. Oh, no. I don't want to go nowhere before I finish. I got to finish. Amen. You got to finish. And you need to tell the devil, I'm going to finish. I'm going to finish. You're not going to, I'm going to finish. And I'm not going to just finish. I'm going to finish strong. Come on, Hallelujah. I'm going to finish strong. Paul finished strong. That's right. Sure did. Did you hear what I said? He finished strong. He didn't go out as no weakling. No, sure oh, my God. They're going to take my head. They're going to take me. Let me tell you, they were not like that. That's why when Peter was locked up in jail and they were getting ready to kill him, No, no, no. 
I'm going through for years. And extended periods of time. I know about that. But I also know when God shortens things too. I know when he shortens things. Because there comes times when God will say that. You know, that's something you went through. You're going to go through that like that again. Yeah. You're never going through that like that again. Yeah. No. You might go through it. You may never go through that like that again. Or you never going to go through that again. Yeah. yeah.
of us need to make it to heaven. To be with him. This is the altar call you here today. You don't need that man. Don't fight with you. I want you to know you can make it. You can make it. This time you can come. This is the altar call. You need to be saved. You're not saved. The devil's been fighting you. Tell me God don't care. Can you hear me my mask, please?